Hi there, this is Shallow for the Benelux Lightwave resource website and for Liberty 3D. And today in this quick video we're going to talk about the plugin Thickener by Christian Bloch. Um, he updated the version also to uh, 3.5 actually, um, which makes it compatible for Lightwave 9.3 up to Lightwave 11. Uh, don't have Lightwave 11 yet, but working on that. Um, uh, and that's good because everybody, well, most people probably have used Thickener. Uh, and for those who haven't, here's a quick rundown on what it can do for you. So if you jump into the uh, Benelux Lightwave resource website, um, well, you can see here because it's the recent edition. You can see it on the front page. But otherwise, go to Files and then go jump into Plugins. And you should be able to find Thickener there. Here it is. Of course, you can also go up, go into Search, type something like Thick. And you should be able to find Thickener 3.5. There you go. Basically, one um, Lightwave uh, compiled script file. Just uh, copy that into your plugins folder and make sure that Lightwave is updated so that it finds it. So you just scan for new plugins or just add it manually within a Lightwave modeler. Okay, so let's jump into a modeler uh, for a sec and let's see what this plugin does. Um, it's um, a fairly easy to use plugin, but it can be very, can be very, very handy. So if we create a um, a box, something like this, okay, and I'll just cap some of the uh, the sides here, like so, and you go into your utilities additional thickener, and I've shown you in the uh, other the CM tools how you can actually get this instead of going to utilities and plugins etc how you can get it to um, uh, pop up in for example your control shift and middle mouse button I can't do it now because it got thickened on but how you can shortcut that um, but as you can see now already um, I've got interactive preview on and so you can just you can just you know use the slider and you see exactly what it's doing okay now this is a very uh, fairly easy um, object that you can uh, use extrude on or whatever you want to uh, to get basically the same results. Um, but it shows you exactly how this works. Now, if um, if you choose the inner, select inner. That means if you press OK, it will choose the inner polygons of your object. Okay, because it's easy if you want to continue from modeling from there you don't have to select those uh, polygons you can just simply do it like this now I press ctrl Z and I'll, I'll choose thickener again I'll choose seam and you'll notice that it will select the seam it created on both sides see now in the final one thickener and I'll choose outer that means that it will select all the polygons on the outside so that's pretty handy. Okay, now that's it for the um, the quick rundown. H now let's create something that is a, a little bit more um, interesting, and you might be able to use um, in real life, so to say. So let's just uh, create a uh, a disc, um, something like this. We'll make that eight sides. There's the numeric panel. Okay, that's eight sides. Let's zoom it out a bit something like this. Let's make it so that's a, a perfect circle. So if I press the tab key, uh, sorry, the tab key and I'll use Catmull Clark, <coughs> you'll notice that it sub patches nicely. Now let's cap off those ends again. Okay. Um, F2 to center it. Control C and let's paste that in a new layer. Press the R key, so we rotate it. Make sure you get your modes set to selection, because if you set it to mouse, you know it'll gonna rotate wherever your mouse is, and that's not what the yeah, not the idea about the behind this. Um, choose the uh, foreground layer, the background layer. Go to um, construct boolean and uh, choose union. So we got a kind of a T pipe going on here. Okay, now let's um, delete the background there. Use these uh, polygons here. 
simply uh, delete them. Uh, there's two left. Delete them also. So we get this kind of thingy here. Okay. And um, mm, let's uh, press uh, E for extrude, T for move, and move that thing a little bit down. That didn't work as I had planned. Again. So polygon. Let's choose an E for extrude, T for move, and move that down a bit. Okay, so we got this thing. Now we go to uh, multiply, we'll do an array, and we'll use 4, and you'll see what we get. We get a kind of a T junction. Okay? Now before we um, sub patch that, let's just polygons, let's delete all these polygons here. Something like that. Delete it. It's one left. Delete it. There's one left also. Delete it. Now we're going to point mode. Select these points here. H for stretch and just stretch them in. Okay. M for merge. You can do automatic, but <coughs> some of the points are a little bit far, far out of reach, so choose three or five or whatever. Just say okay. So if we now press the tab key, we get a junction. And there's some left in there, so we go into polygon mode, statistics, one vertices, delete, and we got two vertices, delete. Okay. Should be fine now. There we go. So now you can see a little bit of a where thickener comes in to be very handy. So we've got this T junction, and we're going to go into a utilities, additional thickener, and there you go. It's a bit, bit very, very thick. Now the way we created this T junction, if you go the inside to thicken it from the inside, you get a nice. You get the outside to be have a nice. Uh, see, edge there. So you can see that thickener can uh, speed up your workflow pretty, pretty uh, amazingly. And it's the same with if you have a look at the. Um, examples that he has here. He has the, the here you have kind of a same thing that we just created and he, he did it here with the flower as well and, and with a spoon and all those kind of things. So thickener can be very very handy um, when modeling <coughs> something. Now just imagine a glass. I mean if you just create a simple glass and you want to give it real thickness because the glass is really really thick. Now with the new nodal uh, system and um, uh, the material there you can uh, at least make sure that the um, uh, the way the beams go in and out, that works even uh, though it's just a one polygon object. But in this way, you can just easily create a glass that is really thick. So that's thickener. Um, so have a look. Download it. It's free. Um, Christian, uh, uh, as I said, he just updated it like I think one or two days ago um, to make sure that it's uh, compatible with Lightwave 11 or at least Lightwave 9.3 and up. Um, that also means that it isn't compatible anymore with Lightwave uh, uh, everything below uh, Lightwave 9.3. Um, but we'll, what we'll do is we'll uh, put the older version of the plugin online as well, uh, version 3, so that if you don't have Lightwave 9.3 or up, you can still use it. Okay, that's it for now. I um, hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that Thickener can come in handy for you. Alright, see you next time. Bye bye.